Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. Um, obviously I have some new subscribers, so hey, how are y'all? Thanks for being patient, because it's been a while. Um, I had work and so many things that came up uh, that I have not been able to um, do any Hacker One Capture the Flags things. Uh, I've actually been doing other Capture the Flags and stuff like that that I'll uh, post on here too, but I decided, you know, you got to finish what you started. So I'm a, I went back to Hacker One and um, start doing one of those. I'm gonna start doing that all over again. So I actually just completed uh, the moderate, uh, was moderate difficulty for a photo. Uh, this moderate difficulty phase for photo photo gallery. It's like the flags aren't really that easy to find. Um, uh, so yeah, I just found the first of three and I decided, let me go ahead and post this on um, my YouTube video again. Disclaimer real quick, if you hear all that noise in the background, it is my dog. He is messing up a bone right now, so sorry. Um, he's actually not bothering me, so I'm not going to take that bone from him. Y'all just gonna have to hear that. So in any case, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Like I literally just finished this, so if it seems a little rushed, sorry. Um, but I'm in between breaks right now, so I just wanted to, you know, capture a few flags before I get back to work. So, um, yeah, so I did photo gallery, and when you click on go, I actually did this one without a hint. Um, so I'm pretty kind of proud of myself. But when you click on go, you get thrown to this page. And when I saw this page, it didn't give me much. So, you know, when you see that there's nothing much there, you go to the page source. So I went to the page source, still didn't see anything, but I saw these hyperlinks, clicked on those, and boom, I got a whole bunch of hex stuff. So I just slid down and tried to see, was well, there anything here? And there wasn't. Um, I even incremented up, because I think there's also a, a fetch ID too. Um, this kind of looks different, so kind of took note to that, but there was literally nothing there, even at three and so on and so forth. Uh, which on the third page I saw there was an error. So um, there's an internal server error. And that's kind of raised my, uh, raised the question in my mind, like if, if these photos, like where are these photos being held? I was like coming down to it, like where, where are these photos being held? I do not know who, they don't seem like they're, you know, you're, they're, they're on the server, but I just didn't know where. So I immediately thought, without hesitation, like, there might be a database. I always think there might be a database on the back end. That's just the number one thing I do. I, I didn't even do anything else. I, I'm pretty sure some other people probably did like a whole bunch of, you know, they probably did something else. <laughs> But if I if I look on here and I really don't see anything in the source in the in the uh, source code or anything like that, where I'm just like, hmm, this this takes me somewhere. I just I just don't know what to say. So I'm I immediately and then I immediately thought there might be a database on it. And then when you click on here, it's just hex. So just to let you know where my mind went. I might be wrong. Some people may think, why would you think that? I don't know. It's, it's just my thought process, which I found out wasn't necessarily wrong. So um, the next thing I did was basically uh, from here, since I thought, hmm, I'm going to check to see if there's a database on the back end. Some people still poke around and do things manually. Uh, again, I'm kind of in a bit of a rush right now because I'm in between uh, kind of my lunch break right now. So. I was like, ah, uh, let me just throw a tool at it. I mean, it's capture the flag, you know, whatever. Uh, so, you know, the number one thing I like to use is SQL map. So obviously if I use SQL map, I'm gonna have to get the request file um, with a request for this. So that's what I did. I wound up opening up Burp Suite. And I know I'm going through this a little quickly, but uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know how to kind of do this already. You just kind of open up Burp Suite, set up the proxy and everything. I'm gonna have to put this on mute real quick because people don't really contact me today. They're just all over it. But um, 
you set up your proxy, you intercept the request. From there, I did a right click and sent it to repeater. So just to show you uh, here, right click, send to repeater. Um, from there, I right clicked again, save item. You really don't have to do that, but I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I kind of went through a couple of things to make sure that that was not, uh, just to make sure that, you know, if there wasn't anything in the request to response headers, but there really wasn't anything. So I just said, okay, cool. Uh, from there, I, I saved the item and I saved it on my desktop as a text file because we're gonna use that text file in SQL map. So I gave it this, the name of, you know, some haphazard name of uh, the level that I'm on, .txt. And then from there, and I literally have everything still up, y'all, because I literally just found this, <laughs> just finished this. So from there, and I'm gonna clean up some of this, because y'all need to see that. Well, we're gonna get to that. But from there, obviously, I CD into my desktop. Shoot. Dang it. Dun, dun, dun. New tab. All right, so I CD into my desktop. Um, and then look for the file. There's the file. So then I call SQL map. So the command is SQL map hyphen R for the request. To, uh, the request that I'm gonna give it, it's gonna be obviously the text file that has the request for the page on there. And from there, I, um, I'll just press enter. I like to use threads because I don't like to see all this stuff that's in between, but it may not even show you all that because I've done it. So from there, I was in fact right. There is something on the back end, SQL map. Uh, so I'm like, okay, cool. If there's some SQL map back there, if there's a database back there and it's SQL map, and on top of that, it's you know subject to time-based and Boolean-based attacks, then we can probably do some things with this. Um, so from there, the next thing I did was, uh, um, what was the, uh, what you call it? And I have the other the other command over here. Oops. The command that I gave was dump. So I wound up dumping everything in there. So hyphen hyphen dump. And from there I saw, okay, there's a level five. You know, it's fetching databases. Gave me level five, which I'll probably need later. There's apparently, you know, it's dumping everything from here. So there's two uh, databases, one of which I'm assuming is called albums. Um, and again, they tell me to say do threads because threads is faster. But uh, yeah, it's just dumping out everything, gives me all the JPEGs and boom. What do we see here? The flag. I was like, oh, that was super easy. I'm gonna press no here. I'm gonna press no here. Um, but yeah, so if I press no and no, because it's gonna ask me, do I wanna you know, perform any, any other attacks, like dictionary-based attacks or anything like that? I told it no, because I got what I needed. So uh, from here, like I said it's a database. The table that it, was, that it spit out to me was photos. And these are the names of the tables. I mean, the, um, the images, utterly adorable, perfect, and invisible. So they are actually being held in a database. And the reason why this one is broken is because there's a flag right there. It's not even a JPEG. So that was cool. You, catch, you take this flag and you throw that into the submission bucket and booyah. That's it. So that's the first flag. Um, try to capture two more flags today and then post them. So, um, again, thank y'all for chilling with me and I'll see y'all in the next video.